Hello there, this is the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another episode of Archer Season 6, Episode 8. I'm excited to get into it. If you'd like to see the full unedited version, the link is down below for the Patreon, and also all my social media links and all that jazz. So yeah, uh, let's just get this now and have some fun. Yes, Lana, you've made it totally very nearly insultingly clear. <laughs> <laughs> because this is just my parents meeting their grandchild. And oh, by the way, this is her father. Yeah, it's... It's not meet my boyfriend. It's not meet my future husband. Nobody's guessing who's coming to dinner. Totally clear. Lee, insulting. I love the fact that he had like 20 of those bloody um, whiskey flask things. I've, I've only got one because I'm a normal person. And if you want to save yourself some trips, let's uh, make it a pitcher. Uh, we don't even have pitchers, so... <laughs> Well, then I don't know what to tell you. Maybe rinse out a little trash can. Also, my parents <laughs> aren't big drinkers. Yeah, they're... Oh, he's definitely got a problem, has Archer. Because my parents think I'm still working on my PhD at Columbia. In environmental science. <laughs> what? They don't know you're a spy? No, and if you tell them I am, I will literally murder you, wait, in front of our very own infant child. <sighs> so Oh, you could just do what you did in the last episode and hire someone to murder him. I mean, yes, it was accidentally, but also at the same time, that was not on. I'm sure he's just caught in traffic. Hmm. He could have walked here by now. If it's gonna be that kind of party, etc., etc., mashed potatoes! Uh. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Look, you only get one chance at a first impression, and that, my friend, is a good first impression. You got everything. You got everything. Bravo, Archer. Bravo. Oh, Lana, you have made a beautiful baby. Well, we sort of both would agree with that statement. Lana can speak for herself. Yep. So, any news? Um, I had a baby. Oh, honey, I'm talking about your studies. Yes, Lana. When on earth are you planning to finish your dissertation? Yeah. Mind your business! Oh, uh, Lana. Don't do that. Nope. Because you're <laughs> taking your time as well. What is it you're studying? Um, uh, medieval Slavic history. Really? Well, that must be fascinating. Well, everybody thinks that, but... So tell me, what are your thoughts on the Battle of Kosovo of 1389? Well, um, actually, I prefer the Battle of Hastings 1066. <laughs> if you sound posh and you know stuff, they'll leave you alone. That's how I do it. Um. <laughs> yes. God, oh my God. God. It, Krieger. So now we gotta forfeit League Night? How the hell did you run out of gas? Yeah, especially in. Where even are we? Mm, Brownsville? Hey, whoa! It might Crock Den Central? <laughs> Please, you people invented racism. Also, you're just a reconstructed light field produced by firing a laser through a beam splitter. <gasps> Whoa! Yeah, dude. Not cool. Hot! Hot, 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 hot. How is it? Oh, it is hot, Lem. Can I call you Lem? Of course you may, absolutely. But it's actually pronounced Dr. Kane. Ah. Hmm. Ah. Mm. You can see the dog does keen. So. Nonsense. You stay right there. Uh -huh. God damn. Uh -huh. mm. Ooh. Isn't this just so relaxing? Is it? Well, nudity is our natural state. He's not nude. What? Then why are you in here? I was just asking myself the same. That's ridiculous. You have to be naked. Otherwise, it's pointless. Is yeah. Wow, Archer's mom. She looking good. Because who gets in a hot tub naked with an almost complete stranger? Because everybody? Because Berkeley? That's... How does an entire city get a pass on acceptable behavior? Acceptable behavior? This from the man who just tried to have a threesome with me and my wife. Because I thought that's what they wanted. They said they wanted to share a special secret with me, so... Wait, what special secret? What? Why is he even still here? Daddy. Look. Look. No judgment. The guy thought it was a threesome. Let it go, man. Let it go. He could have said yes. Do you know what I mean? 
could have been something beautiful, but you had to ruin it. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. are you shitting me? With a baby in the house? Why do you have a gun? What, seriously? For this. That was impressive, man. Archer, what a shot. But also now you need to get your car fixed, the window and the hot wire and sorted. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, so listen, if you want to catch those guys and get your mildew back... It's algae. Yeah, take <laughs> that tone. What's wrong with you? Guys, this is... this is the... the car from... Bullet, we know. And if you'd go already, maybe later I'll dress up like Steve McQueen for you. Oh, that's not even what it's about. Plus, your hands are too big. Go! But speaking of McQueen, <laughs> if there was ever a time to wear the tactile neck... Go! Okay, oh. hang on. So... I thought it was because she complimented him, because like, I, I love a compliment, you know what I mean? Like, I can I can live off a compliment for weeks, like someone said my arms were nice, and I was like, oh, that's so good! <laughs> but no, it's from a car from, I'm assuming, is a movie, with Steve McQueen, so it must be a movie, I don't think he did TV. Then I don't know why this heap of shit's not going faster! Well, first of all, I think you mean heap of bitchin', and second of all, hang on. <laughs> oh my good lord so they got lost on the way to bowling and now they're going to go and get the algae back nice am i supposed to know what that means or as a replacement for fossil fuels oh so you literally changed the world then that's what you're saying <sighs> what in the lana anthony kane okay so <laughs> they're both spies she's got tech nines and massive hands there we go. Remember I always throw up in the car on the way there? <gasps> I'm sorry. Oh, God damn it. Love you. From it. <laughs> yes, that's a child that hates something. What if we grease the tires? How would that possibly help? Why don't you just get off your ass and push? Well, the speakers are obviously the- No! For the love of God, man, are you quite literally insane? Sorry. Fuck off. Shut up. What about all these bowling balls? What? Yes! You ding dongs! Throw out the goddamn bowling balls! <laughs> okay. Jesus. I mean, you don't you need them for bowling though? I suppose you don't. And I'm actually pretty great at it. Uh, shut up, Daddy Floor. Okay, hang on. I mean, she is pretty awesome at it, to be fair, though. They all are, apart from Cyril. And if it's a barbecue, are the Canes a brisket crowd or pull pork? Oh, the pull pork. Brisket. <sighs> Disappointing. Disappointing, Dad. Pam? <laughs> oh, my God. I used to beat this bitch's ass at Fight Club, like, all the time. <laughs> so, there you go. Oh. <laughs> like three times. And why the hell are you throwing bowling balls in the damn street? Oh, well, at least they're not going to get shot. Yep, yep, yep. So come on, let's go make it rain, Pammy. What about them? <sighs> Honestly, don't care. <laughs> oh, Pam, you're a delight. Ta-da! <laughs> With a baby in the house! We didn't know you were there, which was obviously an operational failure on our end. Ethan. Yeah, Ethan. And don't be shitty, Archer, you dick. You killed one of my guys. <laughs> Yeah, well, what, what, what is happening? And also, yeah, Ethan. Huh. Well, I can tell you right now, this doesn't come anywhere close. That amount direct deposited every month for the rest of your life. Every month? Well, Mr. Slater, I, I think we got ourselves a deal. Dad? Change the world, be rich forever. Yeah, okay. Nobody know. What about the algae so we don't have to burn fossil fuels? Honey, forget about fossil fuels. We're going to be able to burn money. <laughs> <sighs> Happy? What? Like in general? Because yes. <laughs> oh, you'll have to let us know what that feels like. You, Archer, could have misconstrued the situation. And even though it's kind of hard for me to admit it, you are family to me. And not just because of AJ. And I realize now that I should have invited you to the family reunion, and so I'm sorry. Sorry that I hurt your feelings. Well, thanks. I accept your apology.
Sorry, I tried to spit roast your mom. <laughs> Never apologize for a good spit roast. That's rule one. Oh my god, this was a good episode. I really did enjoy this one. It was fantastic. Um, finally get to meet Lana's parents. I mean, she did apologize, but she didn't apologize for all the other crazy stuff she did. But it is what it is. Another good episode. I cannot wait to continue on with the show. As ever, thank you for coming out to watch these. I do appreciate it. If you're new, drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you all again very soon for more Archer reaction videos.